Samsung recently announced the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, their completely wireless earbuds that work with Samsung devices and, well, anything that has a Bluetooth connection. I've been using them for the past couple of days, and today I'm going to lay out my favorite tips and tricks I've learned so far. I'm Jason Cipriani, and thanks for tuning in to this ZDNet how-to video. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do when the Buds 2 Pro arrive, of course, is pair it to your phone. And the pairing process differs based on the type of phone you have. Remember, these are designed to work with Samsung devices. So, of course, the pairing process on a Samsung device is really easy. If you've ever seen how AirPods connect to an iPhone, it's the same process here or very similar to a Galaxy smartphone. So I have the Galaxy Z Flip 4 here as well as the Black Buds 2 Pro. And as you can see, uh, nothing's going on on the screen, but as soon as I open the case of the Buds 2 Pro, a dialog pops up asking if I want to connect to them. I'm going to tap on connect and then wait a few seconds for the Z Flip 4 and the, or whatever Galaxy device you have to do its magic. There'll be some optional terms and conditions. I'm gonna opt out of all of that, hit continue, and I'm done. That pairing process took less than 10 seconds. Pretty awesome. All right, so one of the first things I recommend you do after pairing the Buds 2 Pro to your phone is go ahead and put them in your ears and you'll see on the top here of the screen, there is a prompt asking if you wanna learn more tips and tricks. I'm gonna go through some of those that are covered there, but you can go through those if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and tap close, but there is an option here to test your earbud fit. Now, if you've already gone through that or skipped past that process, you can still find it by opening up the Galaxy wearable app, which is the app I'm in right now. Um, on a Galaxy device, it's already installed. You don't need to worry about it. It'll just be in your app drawer. Tap on earbud settings, and the second option there is earbud fit test. So these tiny earbuds, come with uh, comfort tips already installed on them. They're actually the medium size is pre-installed and they work for the majority of people. So what I would suggest is putting these in your ears, running this fit test, it plays a few sounds, it measures how much sound is leaking from your ears and then it'll make, it, or make a suggestion on whether or not you need to go uh, bigger or smaller on the ear tips. In the box with the charging cable for the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro come a smaller pair of ear tips as well as a larger pair and sometimes your ears may be different sizes. Give it a try, run the test as many times as you need until you get a complete fit. All right, so when you're wearing the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, their headlining features, or a couple of them, is active noise cancellation, which blocks out the background noise when you're on a flight, when you're walking down the street, uh, or if you're working in an office and you don't wanna hear your coworkers talking a couple cubicles over, active noise cancellation is your hero. So when you first put them in, you have a couple of options. You can use the Galaxy wearable app to turn that feature on. Uh, and you can see here, there's noise controls that you can switch between. Right now it's on ambient noise canceling. There's also a widget that you can quickly use to uh, switch between those settings, or you can long press on either earbud. And as you saw there, it switched to ambient mode. If I wanna switch back, active noise cancellation mode. Ambient mode lets some background noise in, which is helpful if you're like in an airport waiting for overhead uh, announcements, you're walking down the street, you wanna listen to your music, you don't want people bothering you, but you wanna be able to hear those cars that are driving past you or anything else that's going on. You just wanna be aware of your surroundings. That's what ambient mode is for. All right, and as you can see, I was touching on the side panels here, or at least on this one. They both have touch panels that you can use to control playback, a single tap, does player pause, but they're not all enabled out of the box. In fact, you have to enable them yourself. So in the Galaxy wearable app, again, I'm gonna to go to touch controls. And then as you can see, there's tap, the single tap I was just talking about. If you wanna use a double tap motion, which would skip to the next track, you can turn that on. Triple tap will go back a track. If you touch and hold, like I did just a moment ago, to go between active noise, cancellate, active noise cancellation in ambient mode, you can uh, do that or you can adjust it to trigger Bixby. <laughs> Sorry, Bixby, it's nothing personal. 
um, volume down on one side and volume up on the other side, or you can even have it trigger Spotify. I've been using this Spotify feature on the left earbud, so when I press and hold on that earbud, it actually triggers one of my daily mixes or the mega hit mix uh, in my library, and it kind of cycles through those so I can get fresh playlists without having to dig through my phone or, or reach for my phone. Another thing to point out about touch controls is you can double tap to answer a call, triple tap to end a call, or you can turn those on or off. It's up to you how you want to do it. I don't ever go back a track, but I always go forward. So I'm going to enable double tap and then I am going to leave triple tap off for now. Another really cool feature that the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro have is the ability to detect when you're wearing them with active noise cancellation on or not and you start talking to have a conversation with someone. That feature is called voice detect. So again, in the Galaxy Wearable app, there's a voice detect option. It is off by default after you set these up. Once you turn it on, you're gonna have a list of options down below as far as the delay that uh, the earbuds wait for you to begin talking again. It is set to 10 seconds out of the box, but you can choose five or 15 seconds. So what happens is if you have the earbuds in, you begin talking to someone, it automatically, the earbuds automatically recognize that you're talking, it turns the volume really low, turns on ambient mode, and it'll wait your allotted time for you to say something or for the person to reply so you can hear them. And then if you begin talking again, that timer resets and then so on and so forth. So you can have a conversation in theory with the, uh, with the earbuds still in. I wish there was a 20 second delay instead of just 15 seconds, but that's me personally. Usually 10, 15, you're getting a yes or a no conversation and that's the end of it. But this is a cool feature. It's one that the Pixel Buds Pro and the AirPods Pro do not have. It's one I highly suggest you enable, especially if you're working in an office and you do have to interact with those uh, colleagues down a couple cubicles, you know, once in a while. Another thing the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro have that I think is a cool feature, but it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to it, especially for Gal Samsung Galaxy users. Not only get used to it, but uh, hopefully for more streaming music services and even video services to adopt is 360 degree audio. Again, this is a feature that comes off by default out of the box. So it's something if you wanna use it, you'll have to enable it yourself. In the Galaxy Wearable app, I tapped on 360 degree audio. I'm gonna turn it on. And then also I'm gonna turn on head tracking. I couldn't really tell the difference with the feature turned on and head tracking turned off, but basically what happens when you're listening to music, so I've been streaming Spotify, like I mentioned earlier, quite a bit, and you have the head tracking on, as you turn your head in relation to the phone or device that you're using, the audio changes. And so it sounds like you're surrounded by a band or uh, uh, you know speakers that are each one having a dif different instrument. And as you move your head, the audio is basically 360 degrees around you as well. Uh, Apple has this, it's called spatial audio. So far, I think spatial audio is a lot better than 360 audio on uh, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, but it's early days, maybe software updates, maybe some better support uh, from Spotify and the like will make this a must use feature. But that said, I would enable it. I don't see anything wrong with that. It doesn't hurt anything. All right, so there's one other aspect of the Buds 2 Pro we need to cover real quick, and then I'm gonna show you how to pair them with a non-Samsung device. So Samsung has its SmartThings Find network that helps people locate lost phones, lost items. They even have the little AirTag-like device that helps you locate your keys or whatever you have it attached to, a pet, whatever. You can also use Samsung's SmartThings Find to locate the Buds 2 Pro, whether or not they're in the charging case. So outside of the charging case, as well as inside the charging case, and independently, you can find the charging case. So what you'll do is go into the Galaxy Wearable app, tap Find My Earbuds, and then it'll take you through the setup process. Um, it's really a simple process. I'm not gonna go through it here, only because then you're gonna know where I live, and well, that's a little creepy. No offense. So make sure you go through that process, set it up. That way, if you lose them, you'll be able to find them and track them down. You can play sound on the earbuds. It's a really cool feature, and it's definitely one you want to turn on. All right, so what do you do if you are a non-Samsung Galaxy device owner? Or let's say you have a pair of Buds 2 Pro, and you switch devices to a Google Pixel or an iPhone. <gasps> Heaven forbid, an iPhone. Or a Mac or a Windows PC, and you want to pair the Buds 2 Pro to that. 
The process is not at all the same as it is on a Galaxy device that I showed you earlier where you just open the lid and it finds it. Windows 10 fast pair, Windows 11 fast pair can find the earbud, so it may be a little similar there. But as far as any Apple devices or even Google's own Pixel 6 Pro or any other Android device, the process works just like it would with a normal Bluetooth pairing process. But there isn't a pairing button on the case. The only thing that there is is a USB-C charging port. So what you do actually is you open the case and using the touch pads, you put both fingers or you touch both touch pads for about three seconds. You can see the light started flashing, it goes blue, red, green, blue, red, green. That means it's in pairing mode. And now I could tap on the normal pairing menu, add a device on this Pixel 6 Pro. There's the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. And I'm gonna select them, if it'll let me. There we go. Uh, yeah, contact and call history. Let's do it. Pair. All right, so now I have battery life percentage here in the menu, as well as uh, letting me know that it is active. All right, so there's not a whole lot you can do in the settings menu for Bluetooth with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro on a non-Samsung device. But like on in the Play Store, there's the Galaxy wearable device or app. I went ahead and installed it. It looks exactly or very similar at least to what it looks like on uh, a Galaxy phone. And as you launch it, it's gonna have you install some plugins that are specific to the Buds 2 Pro so you can get the most out of those features. And when you're using these headphones or earbuds with a non-Samsung device, you can still use the tap to control feature. So tap once, pause or play. You can long press to switch between active noise cancellation and ambient mode and take them out to automatically pause your music. All right, so as you can see, I set up a whole bunch of different, approved a whole bunch of different settings, but this is the same app, more or less, that was on the Galaxy Z Flip 4. So make sure you install the Galaxy Wearable app if you're gonna pair these with a non-Samsung Android phone. Otherwise, pair them, use them as normal Bluetooth headphones. Remember, long press on each touchpad until it goes into pairing mode, and then pair it like a normal Bluetooth headphone. Now going back to a Galaxy device or another Bluetooth device, you don't have to repair, you can just reselect it as long as it's disconnected from the original or the last device. You can just reselect it in the Bluetooth menu and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed those tips for the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. I'm gonna have plenty more coverage coming at you regarding the Buds 2 Pro as well as Pixel Buds Pro and AirPods Pro but you're gonna have to stay tuned for that. I'm Jason Cipriani with ZDNet. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips and tech news.